Okay. What do I have? Two spearmen, two All right, here, Tron, playing with Hit Mantis, who's going to be playing as the uh, Itza. And I'm going to be going with Marcus Fulpart on the journey, head to head campaign. Yeah, boy. Alright, let's see. Let's get this going. We may be friends, we may be enemies. We do not yet know, but I do know that I'm going to start war already with Tel Axelan. Wardens of the Seek. Hey, who's Wardens of the Living Pool? I couldn't tell you, but we're already in a fight here. Oh, oh. This guy's got blessed everything. And an ancient Stegadon. Oh, Give boy. me a, a spectator here. Let's do this. Alright, spectating. One second. Oh, you're fighting my brethren. Alright, who do you want me to be? Or do you just want me to watch? If there's any faction with the Lizardmen, I'd have an advantage here, but no, I do not. There's a barely an advantage, and I can't afford... Oh, because they start... Is that Crocs? No, it's Saurus with shields. Yeah. Those shields are going to be annoying for you. Yeah. It looks like they have Cav. Yeah, and I have... Really... I have the shitty archers. <laughs> Literally, well, one unit of the worst archers and one unit of anti-large archers. Use the anti-large to keep that cold one riders off you. Yeah. What are these? War ooh! War wagons. Those are cool looking. We got... They have guys with guns on the back. Cool. Yeah, it's just a missile chariot. Uh, I'm going to keep a hold of the units for this one, just because this is a risky fight. That's okay? Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll just watch. Alright, you could, you know, comment on it. What is it called? Uh, cast it? Yeah, well, they got the, they're going to run the cold ones and the skinks right at you immediately. Personally, I would, or, uh, uh, a recommendation. Use your war wagons to try to hit the skinks before they can hit you. That's a good point. You do know Lizardmen fairly well. What is this perk too? Oh, I have a perk that lets me pass through trees with no issue. Nice. Yeah. Oh, they're they're just all moving on you right now. Except the skinks are the fastest. Oh. Nope, actually the cold ones are. 70 speed. Yeah. For some reason they're moving at the same pace as everyone else, so they're just moving in formation. Oh, they're gonna wear you down using your... Yeah, that's a good strategy. Take the high ground and hit the archers. I don't think your uh, your soldiers will be able to take on these sores, though. They'll try. I don't think they exactly have the hope to do it. There we go. Oh, here we go, baby. Get my snipe shot on here. Oh, oh my lord. It's just blood. Here we go. Ooh. Hello. Oh, There's one that just got right into the middle. Yeah, they sacrificed those cold ones to wear down your troops. Oh, uh oh. You're going to want to hit their lord. He will decimate you. He's being focused. He's being focused. Jeez. Just cleave the dude's head. Oh, that's his head. Oh. Come on, there's just bodies. 
Use your archers to hit their lords and your spearmen. I got my lord focusing on there right now. Yeah, I see it. What is he hitting with? That looks like. Ow, that hurt. Oh, those poor, those poor dudes. There's like four of them, all trying to attack the lord. Chop the dude's arm off. Come on, you're trying to move your chariots. Yeah. They're moving, they're moving. Yeah, because when the skinks do that. Yeah, they kind of lured me in there. But I should be faster than they are, I think. Not much, but no, I, I think, think they. Oh, they didn't drag you to the edge of the map. Well, you've got the source surrounded, which is good. They're good, but only when they're charging. Like, these guys are meant to break lines, not hold them, necessarily. They can hold them, but they're not very good for chat. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, we lost the chariot though. Yeah, it's okay. For now. Yeah. You see, that's how you break. Get right in the middle of it. Except I'm breaking. I'm breaking now. Uh, you can still hold him. You have an archer unit that's doing nothing right now. They're pushing moving. I don't know what happened to them, they just quit moving on me. Uh, turn your chariots around and hit the Saurus and they'll break. Or at least you'll kill most of them. Well, that's, that's the goal, but I can't get them to turn. Ooh. Nice. That was the goal there. That's why I haven't gone up the hill this whole time. Coward. But I'm about to snipe him right now with a shot. Yeah, I see him. He's breaking. I think you can get one more hit on him. He's dead. I'm about to snipe him. Yeah, yeah, you. Oh, that's not this. This is a snipe shot right here. Oh, jeez. This guy just hit that lord. Come on, give me a shot, buddy. With that artillery bow you got. How the nice. hell is he? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he got him. That was uh, nerve wracking. Huh? I just didn't have a superior unit. Those skinks, man, they didn't do. Those skinks could have won it. Yeah, that's what I. That, that's the thing that people underestimate about those jabs, man. <laughs> it may not be like. Uh, the best, but they will irritate you. If you can use them, you can wear down an enemy before they even get close to you. The stars are gone, and the leader is gone. You have to talk with these guys. They like me. Rogue army or something? By the Emperor's authority. The sacred pools. Huh. Alright, what I need to do. Slaves, clan rats. Recruit some units. I think I'm gonna have to take a turn to uh get some units.
Because Gorok himself can take on at least most of what I can see. Yeah. He can take one, maybe two units of, like, clan rats. Yeah. So long as he has support and he's not, like, completely surrounded. But I don't have enough... I don't have enough jabs for me to be comfortable with that. But I like my skirmishers. They whittle down the enemy and then allow my swords to take on the rest of them. Oh, dude, I get... I get elite heroes. I can, I, it looks like I can get a Bretonian hero. It looks like I can get a wood elf with a bow. I have no clue who this is. It looks like I can get a dwarf engineer. I mean, a witch hunter. Can you get that gold mining pit? Worry about the military in a little bit. That's what I want. These guys. Vanguard deployment with poison attacks and firing on me. Which means I can deploy them right by my enemy's lines, start hitting them immediately, retreat them, and just skirmish all the way to my lines and use them as uh, a range unit. <laughs> Once I get chameleon skinks, oh. Even better, because they're hidden until the last second. There's been plenty of times where I've placed chameleons at the rear of an enemy and then just marched them right up, forced them to break a couple units off, less for the front lines. <laughs> Once I get crocs, crocs to doors. Alright, I have ended my turn. I don't know if I can do. Lizard beasts. Alrighty. This is me then. First, level that up. And this returns. Croak. Get in there. Excuse me. Mm. Training. The Empire have authority here. I could. Oh, okay. Oh, he's retreating! I can... Oh, I don't... oh, I can't run after him. Yeah, well, anyway. He goes with the... Ah, oh, damn. He's got reinforced night runners. I hate night runners. Mm, yep. Passion. He's got two units of night runners. Uh. He'll have three Skaven slaves, but they're not good. The slingers, are also not very good. Clan rats. And Zap Spark the Insane. Which Gorok will absolutely annihilate. Yeah. If they get into a duel, yeah. Gorok will annihilate them. Well, you gotta get them in a duel first. Well, yeah. He's a sword infantry, he's not a. He's not a wizard, so he's not going to stay in the back. Alright. And then... And then, I have overwhelming odds. I could have just auto-resolved it. Alright, oh yeah, you definitely outnumber them. You're way stronger than them. Uh, you said auto-resolve, Travis, but you didn't play battle. Yeah, no, I, say, I was saying I could have auto-resolved it, but... Oh, okay. I want your people to see what the uh, what the true might of the lizards can do. Wait, you start with Gora? Are you start with Lord Croak? You start with Lord Croak? Yeah. Good yeah. lord. He's right there. I see that. Yeah. He doesn't really have all that much except for a uh, shield of the old gods right now. It says he had the bomb of Itza when I hovered over him. It. it he doesn't have it unlocked yet. Oh, he hasn't okay. earned it, basically. Okay, I see what you're saying. Oh, straight match? And they got a lot of trees, and they got reinforcements behind you. Oh, they're behind me? Yeah, right behind you. Which is kind of an advantage, because you can just vanguard on that spot, and just basically, as soon as they come through the gate, crush them and run them off. I can't vanguard on the spot. No, I mean, like, you can just put all your units facing that spot. And then just start charging the map, edge of the map, and run them off. 
Like, yeah, this. So I'm saying, instead of getting surrounded by enemies, you could just put all your units right there and just crush that one escaping army, then you only have one weak army to deal with. Yeah, I'm gonna send the skinks to, uh, you know, slow them down. Gorok has so much resistance. 15 missile, 15 physical, 15 magic. Yeah. He's ridiculous. Where'd he go? I want to see this beautiful son of a bitch. Oh, what? yeah. I'm just looking at him up close. And you can get way close than that, Travis. You can get around the edge of the border. Get the man we'll just, like, immediately go for him? Yeah, dude, get rid of him. Lord Croak is literally a mummified body, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't kidding. I just don't want to look at him. Like, his picture looks so cool because it's just his mask. He has some big-ass teeth. He looks like a... Rock like, leads from the front, huh? He looks, like, he looks like a giant fat Yoda. He's also facing the wrong direction. <laughs> his melee attack is low, though, but that's okay. He's a he's a spellcaster. I don't think he much cares for fighting a pan. Yeah, but the supreme shield, the old ones, is so nice. Cause you'll literally be able to pop it on this first fight, on top of your units, you know, surround everyone together, and then by the time yeah. the, the enemy army gets there, you can pop it again. So it's like you're just gonna take no damage. You have so much stars. Oh, never mind. I do have uh, deliverance of it, so. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, they're done for. <laughs> oh no. Oh, also the the slot that I have, the fire slot, my other campaign. Yeah. Uh, he has burning head on it. There you go. Uh, remind me tomorrow to show you the battle in which I use it. I nice. used it against uh, Falkir or Loki or Felhart. All right. I destroyed his uh, hand bows or his crap. What are they? The hand, the yeah, they're called hand bows. Corsar hand bows. Here they come. I would start charging. I got night runners in this block, so you can catch them a bit of stop them. Yeah. Yeah, they. Pop that there first. And slink on over here. Let's see. Man. You have one you flanking around for Lord Croak. I see him. Four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, I think I missed time that. Yeah. And you still did a little damage, like you damn near broke them. And you did right around a little over 1100 damage with a, a touch. What? You touched him and did a thousand damage. Okay, over here. So you touched him and did over a thousand damage. My, hey, my skinks aren't seeing anyone. And it's probably because they're hiding in trees and stuff. And uh, if you look where this enemy's going, yeah, it's probably, on the other side. It's probably this way. Have. Be careful not to overextend. Yeah, no. Right. I'm just gonna not bring that to sink do. back here. Yeah. Arrows are so annoying, like throwing. Oh, they're throwing ninja shurikens at you. Oh, seriously? Yeah. What is over here? Oh, man. Hey, hey. My spearmen are chasing the night runners all the way in the back, and they're just doing absolutely nothing. And they're almost out of ammo. I just say, wait till you get another block fight, then drop your fucking bomb of it and just end it. Yeah, I know. I just gotta. They're faster than I am. 
And even just their regular soldiers are faster than me. Yeah, I mean, night runners are quick, dude. They're, they're rap. Let's see. Let's see if I can't run in here. Oh, I think you're starting to see something. What? I think them pop up. Right. Oh. Right yeah, there they are. There's one. So they're hitting this like Yeah, I'm sending the skinks towards him. I think they're taking the hilltop on you. That's fine. They want to sit on the hill. Hey, you got your guys running away from some night runners right now? They're just getting thrown arrows into their back. Need to start. Get them, boys. Yeah, get them. Oh, now they're empty. They're oh. out of ammo. So watch the charge. Boom. Oh. <laughs> it leap into the air. Yeah, you got the charge on us on that one. They will absolutely lose that fight. Well, if not, their leadership will break before they have a chance to. Where did they go? I don't know, but they're just disappearing into everything. It's like the edge of the map, though. They're disappearing. Oh, oh they're disappearing over here. There's one. Oh, you're starting to find them. Gay slingers are thrown at you. Yep. That's okay. Yeah, they're skirmishing. Let's see, what do I have here? Slavers, even slaves, slaves. Yeah, you better fucking run. Still too early. Yeah, the boys running low on ammo. Yeah, I see that. It's the trees. Oh, there's their lord. That sparkly and thing. Sorry, I want you to blob them up. Those it bombs that it and kill the old ones will do the work. Snapping. That. Then pop this about. I'll say here. Oh, that's not a bad one. I wouldn't say it's the best cast, but that's pretty good because it hit four units. That's what I'm trying to do. Crack their lines. Because if I can hit that middle and pop them, do that early. That's not bad. You get another See, one. because now that entire front line is going to buckle. Yeah. Kill you get them. another one, I would say, drop it on their, their slingers so they lose all yeah, the Yeah, in the back. You go around going him right now? Yeah. Oh, he's kind of doing pretty good. Drawing him. I mean, right now it's pretty even. Okay, I've got one last blast. Just going to hit those slaves right there. Boom. Oh. That's pretty good. And they're broken. No one had been fighting them, and they're already broken. I'm fighting. Swordsman? I don't think you guys can win that fight. Alright. Bit risky, but... Sending Croak in to fight, too. Wait, he's in. Oh, I'm in the I'm in the woods. That's right. Oh, I got one more deliverance I can use. I shall deliver you from life. Yeah, you're losing. That'll be a good one. Kaboom. Look at that. Three units broken in one strike. Forty-four percent physical resistance. Yeah, 
handle that. Run the cover, boys. You're doing pretty good. I mean, you're put routing, but they're going to keep coming back. You got to be careful. Do they have some, like your worries are like breaking and coming back? Yeah, I know. That's what they're doing. So you're going to keep building wins and magic, so that's good. But most of your stuff is out of ammo, so that's what's good. Oh, there they go. They're starting to route now. Oh, man. Losses are kicking in. There we go. You're just too slow to chase them off. That's the only issue. Still a good victory. Was that a city or something? No, uh, it was just one of the lords. Oh, where the reinforcements come from, though? Yeah, that's a city right by me. Oh, is the city called Scrot? I uh, yes, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Then it'd be pretty easy to capture now. Lord Croak with 195 kills. Warrior Sar Spear with 255. Yeah. And Sar's Spear with shields. Like that. Javelins didn't do so well because they weren't able to be used yeah. efficiently. Yeah, and they still did really well. I mean, he wiped out Zach. Zach sparked the insane, his entire army. Huh? He wiped out the one dude's entire army. Lost. Well, I'm going to kill and eat them because it gives me replenishment. Yeah, get out of here. Pestilence. Oh, it killed him. Yeah. I don't think I can attack the city on this turn. Oh, yes I can. Uh, I'm just going to auto-resolve. No need in trying to do another fight. I think this city is actually part of the uh, geomantic web that I need. There's no point doing that fight. That was going to be... Yeah, it's really, it's yeah. just annihilation. Fair. Fair enough. Alright. Occupy that city. Iron Curse Icon, which gives me 10% missile resistance on Korok. Yes. Oh, jeez. Uh, I bet. Minus 11. I'm gonna have negative on the corner for a while. Let's see, you had two fights, I had a fight. We've already began to progress in our war. And I think this is the conclusion to episode one. Come back and watch us on our Indeed. next one.